All right, guys. So for our back squat standards, we're going to talk about ultimately the goal with maximum effort lifts is going to be force over time. You can see we can either have a really high force that takes a long contraction. That's where we're going to really focus on our maximum effort days. And then for our dynamic effort days, we're going to focus on greater force development, a much shorter and sharper time curve. So that said, let's talk about the setup today for our back squat and then the standards for this. So we're going to have high, low, moderate, and then a lift at parallel. So for our first week, we're going to go to a high box lift. And that's going to be our box height here. Now, when setting up for the box, we want to have the corner set safely at the rig. So when I take my one, two step back, that I can tap the box and then drive up. We're going to make sure that we get a brief pause with control. My secondary week is going to be our low box. Now, again, these are going to be standards. And then the coaches will take some individual thought to personal anthropometrics and where your body falls on our continuum. So for our low, we're going to go to our 14 inch standard. So now same thing, 14 inches. Again, we're, we're not going um, full parallel because the, the, the power lift of squat is at parallel. And that's the way we're going to train for specificity here. One, two back, squat down, coming up. And then our third week, we're going to go moderate which is again, guesstimated 16 inches, one, two, driving up. Now our fourth and finally, we're actually gonna, we're gonna hit the lift with a back off week and we're gonna go to parallel. So again, these are gonna be the standards we're gonna utilize for our squat variation and um, to guarantee that we're gonna get some, some really serious progress.